is the Vortex machine, it's the first one I've seen. Where does it fit within the family? Well, Mazak for, for a long time now have made the Integrex a uh, very popular multitasking machine, both in a horizontal and a vertical platform. This is a, a vertical platform, but the Vortex is a milling only. So a number of our customers are performing different types of workpiece, some of them requiring a machine of this nature, but for either five axis simultaneous machining or just milling. And so the, the Vortex offers a, a value for money a solution for uh, five axis or milling components. So I guess we're asking the customer, if you're not using turn and functionality, don't pay for it essentially. Exactly, it's, um, it's tailoring the machine according to what the customer requires. And with respect to that, we do two, two versions as well. So you have the milling version only, you have the full multitasking version, then you have a two pallet changer as the model we see here, but you can also have a single pallet as well, which brings the versatility for the customer's requirement. And how about the build quality? Okay, it's a more cost-effective machine, but I presume you've still got the build quality of the Integrex. Yes. Uh, first and foremost, it's a Mazak machine. It's a fully cast product, um, runs on roller linear guides. The B-axis is um, a roller gear cam design, so very stable, able to output high torque, but also able to give smooth contouring and full five-axis simultaneous motion. Also, as well as that, it's a very agile machine with 52 meters uh, rapid traverse performance. And SmoothX is standard? Yes, SmoothX is standard. Our new um, five-axis control that was, that was launched um, in 2014 is becoming very popular in the market now. So what do you feel? How does this set you apart from the competition? What are the features on this machine that's going to set you apart? The machine as standard comes with a 10,000 RPM spindle um, for offers great versatility for a number of applications for up to 37 kilowatts of power. But also as well, according to the application requirement, for example, if a customer's cut to titanium, we can offer a high torque uh, 7,000 RPM spindle with 714 Newton meters of torque. But also, if a customer's cutting uh, aluminium and high speed spindle is required, we can go up to 15 and 18,000 RPM. Okay, so you've mentioned titanium, so presumably aerospace, but these appear to be a mock-up of automotive components. So is that another applicable sector? Yes, it is. And um, the versatility that a two-pallet changer brings as well gives that extra productivity. The machine also can be linked into our very successful Palitech series, again, which provides uh, un unmanned uh, running uh, and can be linked into another range. So, for example, this machine, a five-axis machine uh, with a 630 millimeter pallet, can go into a Palitech with a horizontal machine with a similar size pallet. Okay, and how many tools does, does this machine have? Well, it's standard, a machine like this is 43, but we have a unique system on this called uh, Tooltech, and that can start at 206 tools. Um, next option is up to 276, up to 348. It can be expanded finally up to 412 tools. Okay, let's go and take a look at that. Thank you. So what's this, Mark? Well, this is an element of the tool set. This is called the tool cart. The tool cart can house up to five tools, and it's been designed so that we can take tools very easily out of the machine. By automation, the uh, magazine will load into these five spaces here. So you can consider very heavy, large tools that are very difficult normally for the operator to take out of the machine. So this can then be transported directly to another machine, or it can be taken to perhaps a tool presetter, and tools can be refurbished, remeasured, and brought back to the machine. Because the tool presetter can be linked in with our smooth tool support, um, what it also means is the, uh, the tool ID chip, we can record against that, the measurement of the tool from the tool presetter. As soon as this is loaded into the machine, the information is read from the reader and that data is automatically loaded into the CNC. So I presume you could have any number of these, couldn't you? And you could have all your tools sat waiting. Yes, you could. You could have um, a system where we can have two, two tool carts per machine, or you can have a number of these exchanging tools between the machine uh, for flexibility. So this is the tool tech mark. How many tools do we have? This particular model we see here is 206 tools, but we can go to 276 or 348, and it is expandable beyond that as well. And is this just for the Vortex? No, um, this is also for the uh, Vortex IV series and also the Integrex IV series and our range of 50 taper horizontal machining sensors. Okay, and is, I presume there's some sophisticated software behind this as well? 
Yes, there is. Um, uh, it's linked into our tool management system as well. So uh, customers can monitor the life of the tool. Uh, when the tools are changed into the machine through the tool cart, it can automatically rec rep um, recognize the ID and the information regarding the tool data, the tool life, etc., the length, the offset, is automatically inputted into, into the CNC. So the idea is the machine tool never stops, doesn't it? It's making chips, it's making you money. Well, that's right now. Um, in many cases, tools are relatively inexpensive. What is more expensive is downtime on a machine. So where we can carry extra capacity of tools, it reduces the downtime. So a customer can change over rapidly between complex workpieces and the tools are ready to go. And because the, the, the tools are quite some distance away from the spindle, does that impact on the uh, tool change time? No, not at all. The, it's a very high speed mechanism. Uh, the carrier moves it to a maximum speed of 180 meters per minute. That's quick. Yes, it's, it's very quick. It's quite a unique design, really, because uh, we've got compartmentalized the tools according to the diameter and length. You can actually put a tool up to 350 millimeters in diameter. You can put a T-bar in up to 500 millimeters. And according to the machine specification, so for our largest horizontal, we can accommodate a tool length up to uh, 1,000 millimeters. Because of the design of this compared to a normal magazine as well, we can increase the weight. So this has a weight bearing capacity for an individual tool of 40 kilos and a moment of force uh, of 80 newton meters. The other thing I note, um, I've seen similar systems from other manufacturers, but they're much bigger. This is quite a small compact footprint. Yeah, that's the focus of our design. This particular model, the 206 um, size, you can equate it to a 120 tool magazine. So a 206 size Tooltech occupies a smaller um, floor capacity than a 120 uh, tool chain magazine. Wow, that's, that's brilliant because floor, you know, floor space is at a premium nowadays. That's right. It's, it's, um, the focus really for us is to reduce floor space, to increase flexibility of the machine and to also increase productivity. It's a great product, Mark, and I thank you for your time. Thank you very much.